winter was coming to the island of Sodor, the morning ground was covered in crisp white frost. Thomas was enjoying pulling Annie and Clarabelle. He thought he was doing a very good job. Gordon was pulling the express and thought about something. You know what? I think I'll be do a grand job and tell Thomas what to do and what he's doing right or wrong. That would be useful indeed. Gordon saw Thomas talking to some children. Stop talking to the children. Get on with your work. But I love talking to children. Well, you don't want to be late and you'll be in trouble for sure. <laughs> Gordon laughed. Then he puffed away. Thomas was very cross and thought Gordon was a bossy engine. Annie and Clarabelle agreed. Right, that does it. Until Gordon stops being bossy, I'll never speak to him for a long time. So there. The next morning, a sleepy Thomas had to leave bright and early. Time for work, I mustn't delay. Be careful, Thomas. Percy said to his best friend, I hope he doesn't have an accident, it's very cold after all. Gordon was getting a snowplow fitted when the fat controller came. There is snow on the way and you must all have your snowplows. Excuse me sir, but Thomas has already left for the Blue Mountain Quarry without one. Then you must go find him and tell him that I want him to wear his snowplow. This and this is a requirement for the snow. Yes, sir. You can count on me. At last, the workman had finished fixing Gordon's snowplow on him, and in no time at all, he set off to find Thomas. Thomas was taking on water at Farquhar Station. Gordon pulled up. He blew his whistle. But Thomas didn't say hello. He just wants to boss me again. Thomas, you must go and get your snowplow fitted. Thomas could hear Gordon what he was saying, but he pretended he couldn't. He thought he was being very clever. Gordon tooted even louder. You must go and get your snowplow fitted. Bother snowplows and bother Gordon. Anyway, the weather is perfectly fine. Oh, Thomas. Thank you very much, Thomas. No problem, Sir Handel. I hope you and the others are keeping warm. Yes, we are indeed. Goodbye, have a good day. <laughs> Unfortunately, the blue sky was covered in grey clouds. They look like snow clouds to me. Hello Thomas, where's your snowplow? Sorry duck, I can't talk. I think he's going to get stuck in the snow like he did when he first met Terence. Duck thought to himself. Then it began to snow. Gordon was clearing the snow with his snowplow. I bet Thomas is in trouble now, he said.
Oh no! Help! <coughs> Cinders and ashes! I'm stuck! Oh dear, oh dear! Wet yelled Thomas. More snow was falling on him and it went on. Nobody was there to help. Soon he heard a whistle. Thomas was really happy until he saw who was coming to the rescue. It was Gordon. Great gears! Thomas, I told you to get your snowplow fitted and now look what's happened. Well, Gordon, I'm still cross because you were being bossy, so you should say sorry for doing it in the first place. Well, normally I would be, but you didn't listen. Come on now, let's get you rescued. You must promise to be safer, okay? If you say so. The fat controller was very cross. Gordon, you must take Thomas to the fittest to get his snowplow fitted immediately. Thomas, you must learn to listen. Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't know it was you who required us. I'm sorry too. I should have told him it was you who said so. I believe I have two engines that didn't listen to me today. Well, I never. Gordon, you must take Thomas to get his snowplow fitted at once. Thomas, you must remember to wear one in future. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. At the fitter's yard, Thomas wasn't cross anymore. Now he knew that snowplows were required for when it snows, of course. Gordon, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I should have done what's required and I'm glad to have a friend like you. And I'm sorry for being bossy and I'm proud to have a friend like you. In future, when things like that happen, just listen carefully. I will, Gordon. I certainly will. Thomas and Gordon were good friends again and they both learnt their lesson and promised to listen carefully to the fat controller in future. <laughs>